You won't believe how far these woke corporations will go to push their radical leftist agendas. BlackRock, the massive investment firm, is forcing companies to abandon their core business models in favor of far-left environmental and social justice nonsense. It's completely outrageous, and they've been doing it for a while now. Larry Fink of BlackRock has made it so that if a company pushes back against their ESG policies or this doesn't meet the standards, there is the threat that said company will no longer be able to do banking because Fink has all the banks under his thumb for his ESG project. But since the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney debacle, companies started realizing that going along with ESG could be far worse for their businesses than being punished for not going along with ESG. Bud Light took massive hits in their marketplace, which meant massive losses on their balance sheet. And the Dylan Mulvaney debacle came about because the beer company was trying to conform with Larry Fink's ESG. In today's financial world, where investments are usually as exciting as watching paint dry, Texas has decided to spice things up in a big way by giving BlackRock the axe. But why is this important to you? Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if it isn't our old friends at BlackRock causing trouble again, these radicals just can't seem to help themselves from injecting their insane woke ideology into everything they touch. The great state of Texas has had enough of BlackRock's bullshit and leftist games and is pulling a whopping $8.5 billion out of their fund. Why is that, you ask? Because BlackRock is hell-bent on destroying Texas's oil and gas industry through their ridiculous environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, practices. Can you believe this lunacy? A financial firm is trying to dictate policy to energy companies based on some buzzword virtue-signaling garbage. It's like the Soviet Union Central Planning Council decided what companies can and can't do. BlackRock is an investment firm, and they are supposed to have a fiduciary relationship with their clients, period, full stop. If you go and take a look at companies on the stock market, you will see BlackRock and Vanguard as the top two stockholders in mostly every company on the market. But BlackRock thinks that they can play almighty God in the world of business and finance. A leftist almighty God. When I started thinking about ESG, I wondered why companies were going along with it. It makes no business sense whatsoever. And many of the things that are expected of your company go counter to your business models, which means you're going to lose money. And that's when I found out that BlackRock was the one pushing this. But in all seriousness... I then looked a little further and I discovered that radical woke leftist governors like California's Gavin Newsom were threatening BlackRock that they would pull all of their billions and billions of dollars in school pension funds from BlackRock's ledgers if they didn't push things that turned into ESG. So Larry Fink started doing it. And then like any newborn dictator, he loved the power that it gave him. Leftists everywhere base everything they do on the fear of the threat that they pose. But when you take that fear of the threat away, they start to crumble. And the reason why Fink wouldn't back down by the threats of normal companies pulling their accounts is because, like I said, BlackRock owns a lot of the stock in many companies. This means that he owns a lot of stock in many companies that are in competition with each other. So if he loses one, he doesn't care because the rest of them will fall in line because of that fear of punishment for going against ESG. BlackRock claims that they're just trying to provide disclosures so investors can assess risks like climate change. A load of horse shit. We all know ESG is a far left racket designed to hamstring entire industries if they don't bend the knee to the church of the woke supremacy. Even worse, these corporate radicals have the audacity to cry foul and claim they're just innocent little investors trying to do right by their clients. Oh, please. Larry Fink and his merry band of leftists at BlackRock see companies as their personal playthings to reshape society according to their deranged visions. And don't think for a second this is just about oil and gas. ESG zealots want to use the same twisted tactics on every sector of the economy from agriculture to automotive, to force compliance with their anti-human, earth-worshipping religion. 
But thank goodness true patriots like the leaders in the great state of Texas aren't standing for this madness. They've drawn the line in the sand to protect their workers, industries, and way of life from being sacrificed on the altar of woke capitalism. It's a start, but we need to keep piling on the pressure. These activist corporations like BlackRock need to be bent back into serving their customers' financial interests, not exploiting them to achieve radical political fantasies. Interestingly, the Texas Association of Business and Chamber of Commerce Foundation recently conducted a study that found that the rules will cause hundreds of millions of dollars in missed economic activity over time. Now, this is not the first time states run by Republicans have used divestment to go after BlackRock. Arkansas, Louisiana, Missouri, South Carolina, Utah, and other states have either taken hundreds of millions of dollars out of BlackRock and think, or they say they are going to do so. It's about time, and we need a parallel economy. We need a non-woke BlackRock so that these states can put their funds into them instead of the Black Rocks of the world. All right, guys, smash that like button. If you think BlackRock and their ESG lunacy needs to be stopped, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Please share this video with like-minded friends who want to stay informed with what's really going on. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.